Hey everyone, happy Friday. I'm just going for a little walk, getting the creative juices flowing. Hope you don't mind that you join me across the street as I walk through the woods. I find when I move, that's when a lot of my thoughts will often formulate. So if you've been working out with me, you'll notice that as I work out, I talk a lot uh, because that's when, like I said, I move and a lot of the ideas start to come together. So hopefully you don't mind being on a walk with me. But I wanna to talk today about leadership and how you can move from that feeling of pushing a boulder uphill to letting the easy in. And I gotta tell you at times, I have felt like I've been pushing that boulder all by myself sometimes. And I'm pushing and I'm pushing and I'm pushing. And when you're in that space, it's hard. Who's with me on this? You've felt like you're like pushing up a boulder, you have a goal, you have a vision. Maybe you're trying to make an impact or change in your life or leading others to do the same. And you feel like you're pushing. When you're in that state of pushing, there's no ease, right? There's no ease because it's, you have that energy of pushing and people will feel that. And I gotta tell you over the last week, I think there's been a lot of pushing going on in society. And there's a lot of different ideas out there. And I don't know about you, but it's felt pretty heavy. A lot of emotions over the last week. Maybe there has been some fear, concern, more stress, a lot of hatred. There's a lot of negative and heavy stuff happening, of course, in the world. But I know that every single one of you out there has a voice and you have that innate ability to lead. And I want you to think about leading through this. And maybe it's just leading yourself and you're leading yourself down a path of changing something in your mindset. Maybe you're working more into a growth mindset. Maybe it's fitness, maybe it's health and wellness. You're coming out of this stronger. And that's leadership. When you lead yourself, then you can lead others. And you can never lead others until you lead yourself first. And I was listening to John Maxwell this morning and sent it out to my team on some thoughts on the levels of leadership and how it all comes together. And it starts at the beginning with a position, but then you develop influence and you get momentum and you have a vision and the right people come into your life. And I want you to think about that level of influence that you have right now with your voice to show up. I encourage you to show up, ask questions, make the decisions that feel right to you as we grow through all of this together as society and humanity. Because there's a lot of stuff, like I said, that is pretty heavy and a lot of negative things and a lot of confusion. There's not a lot of clarity I know I felt that a lot, especially over the last couple of months and trying to seek what feels good for me and for my family. Not a lot of clarity, but it's getting clearer for me. And the bottom line, I think you gotta do what feels right in here in your heart. And you gotta lead yourself down that path. And then the right people will come into your world. Alignment will come together. And when alignment fits with your heart, then you're unstoppable. So you have something on your heart that you wanna share, especially during all of this, start talking. Start asking questions. Start challenging maybe some of those things that have been beliefs that don't sit right with you. Start questioning some of the things that aren't sitting right with the decisions that are being made. And I think there's a lot of decisions being made for you or for us and not by you. But there are lots of things that you can do to lead and to grow and to show up so that you can shine bright. So you just think about that and let the easy in. When you're not pushing that boulder uphill by yourself and you let the easy in, all of a sudden it all just comes together. And I think a lot of that comes from focus. What you focus on you find, I've learned, and what you focus on will grow. And the more that you focus in, and this is what I've really felt over the last couple of months, I have found focus in really 
sharing positivity, health, fitness, and transformation to give you preventative measures to work on your health right now so that you can come out of all of this stronger, fitter, leaner, more mindful than maybe you even went into this time. That's been my focus. And as a result of that focus, everything's coming into an alignment. And it's so cool when that happens. Who's experienced that before, that alignment? That all of a sudden you're like, I feel unstoppable. It's pretty powerful when that happens. So today what I want you to do is I just want you to think about leadership, where you can lead, where you can show up, and you can shine bright and be that beacon of hope for other people. And then let the easy in. Move from push to ease. And when you move from push to ease, all those good things are gonna come your way. And I do believe, I have hope. I have hope for humanity. I have hope for the future. I have hope for interaction and connection. And I am missing so much of that interaction with all, so many of you, all of you guys, I'm missing it. And I know that uh, you probably are too. But I do have hope that it will return, that we're gonna find our way, and that uh, we can be strong, healthy, and vibrant together. So those are just some of my thoughts today. Choose to lead, choose to show up, choose to ask questions, and choose to use your voice. Have the best Friday, the best weekend, and if this touches your heart, please connect with me and let me know what's going on with you. Have a great day, guys. We'll talk with you soon. Bye.